Good morning to all. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to solve the cloud computing week five assignment five solutions, which last date is 28 August 2024. Hi, Mananjan Shaw, the NPTEL cloud computing talked about five percent from CBLO1 Global Universities. Uh, prior to that, I have also appeared the same NPTEL online examinations and secured the 79% practical online assignment 25 out of 25. I am the IT trainer having 17 years of experience in information technology. Now, let's start the assignment number five. Okay, and there are 10 questions in that assignment and we'll solve the 10 questions one by one. Let's start this questions. Okay, so here the first question is in a service level agreement negotiation the provider agreed with the service availability 98 percent how much 98 percent the consumer runs the application for x hour per day okay x hour do not know how much hour they will run at the end of the one month that means it may consider as 31 days the total service outage is 12 hours however the service level agreement negotiation in the terms of a service availability is or not how much we have to calculate the hours so see four options are given so we have to calculate this hour so first, what is mentioned here? The total hour is uh, the total hour in 31 days. It will be 31 into X. Okay, because you do not know how much hour it will be consumed. So total 98% availability means the service should be available for 98% of so the total times. So total service outage is equal to 31 into X into 1 minus how much? 1 minus 0 0.98 that is equal to how much here? 0 0.02 into 31 into X. So given service outage is 12 hours, right? So 12 hour means 12 equal to 0 0.2 into 31 into X. It will be, if we summarize this, X equal to 12 divided by 0 0.62. That is equal to 19.35. If this 19.35 means, so X is greater than equal to how much? 19.35 to meet the service level agreement requirement. Therefore, the closest answer is 19.74. Okay, as it is 19.35, closest uh, choice is 19.74, which is option number A. X is at least, at least 19.74. Okay, so here we at least, X is at least, option A is the right answer. Moving to the question number two, another question is here, average resource demand is 45 minutes. How much? 45 minutes. Okay, baseline on the unit cost is 200 units right the time is 10 hours peak resource demand is 100 units if the cloud is cheaper than the owing of the computer infrastructure then the utility premium we have to calculate the utility premium four options are given okay then it should be see it should be utility premium is calculated we know the formula here peak resource demand by average resource demand peak resource demand by average your demand so how here is peak resource demand peak resource demand is how much here resource demand is 100 units by average resource demand is average of 45 units so 100 units divided by 45 units we get 2.2 in so since the cloud is cheaper than the owing the infrastructure the utility premium must be less than 2.2 must be less than 2.2 so option b is the right answer that is less than 2.2 okay so here we mention less than 2.2 is the right answer. Clear? Moving to the question number three. Simple question, two and four questions. In the computing, there is a linear relationship between the number of processing cores and the power consumptions. Okay. It is a false statement. See, we will justify how it is a false statement. Power consumption does not increase linearly. Okay. Which is the number of a processing cores. As more core is added, the increasing power consumption upon dismiss due to the factor like a shared resource and improved efficiency. Okay. So it is a false statement. Okay. Three option B is the right answer. Moving number question number four. The dash takes a series of key values pairs processing each and generate zero or more output. It is it is about a map functions. Map function. Why map functions? See. The map function is map reduce process each key or value pairs independently and produce a set of immediate key or value pairs. So it will be the map, map functions. Okay, it will be the map functions. Moving to the question number five. Yes, it is also a problematic question and we will do these questions 
step by step. Question in is given. In a map framework, the HDFC block size is 64 MB. We have six files. Six files mentioned here. Six five is uh, 64 KB first one, then 65 MB, then X MB, then Y MB, then 67 KB and 127 KB. 24 blocks are created by the Hadoop framework. Okay. The size of X and Y are respectively. We may choose four options are given, one or more options. Okay. The first we have to calculate. What will be the answer of this question? See, here what happened? The question is for X and Y to fit the 24 block lesson. File size given is 64 KB. Consider 64 KB is one block. 65 MB is one block. X MB, Y MB, you do not know. Then 67 KB is one block. 127 MB is two blocks. Okay. Assume X equal to 66 and Y equal to 64. So it may be 64 MB will take two blocks and 64 KB will be one block. So, the uh, so answer will be answer option A, answer option A and option C, option A and option C. Another here, um, we can differently solve this question C. First, break down the problem, determine the correct size of the X and Y that result in 24 SDF blocks. Okay. Given SDF block size, first one is 64 MB. The file size already given 64, 65, XMB, YMB, 67 KB and 127 MB. Total block over calculated is 24. So, high are in the block, here we calculated, 64 means it occupies one block, here one block, 67 occupy one block, 127 two blocks, okay. How much? That means 64 MB plus 63 MB in the second block, okay. So, total blocks used here, one block, one block, one block plus two block, one plus one plus one plus two, total is five blocks, here. So, 19 blocks, means nine, how 19? 24 minus five, it equal to 19 blocks, 19 blocks remains the file, files, that is XMB and YMB, XMB and YMB. Then, what is the possible scenario? Option A, possible scenario, given option A, option A, option A, what is given? 66 and 64, 66 and 64, we have to calculate how it is a possible scenario. Your X is equal to 66 MB, this will occupy two blocks, that is 64 MB plus 2 MB in the second block. Then, Y equal to 64 KB, kilobyte, this will occupy only one block. So, total block used is one, first one plus one, that means 64 KB plus 65 MB plus 66 MB plus 64 MB is up to total eight blocks. Okay, one plus one plus two plus one plus one plus two, it is about eight blocks. So what is the result? The so total block is 24 with the value. So it is a valid scenario. Moving to the scenario number two, that means option number C. On option number C, what do you found? Option number C, 64 and 66, 64 and 66. That means 64 MB and 66 KB. Okay. X equal to first 64 MB, this will occupy the one block. And Y equal to 66 KB, this is occupied the one block. So total block used, one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus two, it is about seven blocks. So result is, result total blocks used, 20, equal to 24 with this value. So this is also a valid scenario. So finally, what you got? Option A, that is called A equal to 66 MB, Y equal to 64 MB. And option C is X equal to 64 MB and Y equal to 66 MB are the correct options. And they satisfy the block requirement for the given setup. So here, option A and option C are the right answer. Okay, that's for my view. Moving to the question number uh, six, which among the following is or are a logical resource, a logical resource. In slide, you can definitely get, uh, that is a execution, okay? So, execution, six option number D. Why executions? Because logical resources are referred to the abstract of non-physical resources like the execution contest, database, or virtualized components, rather than the physical resources like computers or networks. So, here, executions are the logical resources. Six option number D is the right answer, okay? Moving to the question number seven, when a load decreases, okay, load decreases, the virtual machine management can be, can be done. Four options are given out of four, two options, that is live migrate and a shutdown on use nodes will be the right answer. We will justify how these two options are will be or may be the right answer. See, here, to optimize the resource uses, VM can be migrated to more utilized nodes and unused nodes can be shut down to save the energy to save the energy. So these two options, live migrate VMs to be more utilized nodes and shut down used uh, nodes, the right answer. Question number eight, corresponding between the resources required by the users and the resource available with the provider is known as, is 
known as is known as resource mapping is known as resource mapping c in resource mapping resource mapping involve align users requirement with the available resource from the provider the available resource from the provider available resource from the provider okay so 8c is the right answer going to the question number 9 available ability or capacity of that system to adjust the resource dynamically to fulfill the requirement of the user is known as is known as what resource adaptation is known as resource adaptation option b so what is resource adaptation it refers to the system capability to dynamically adjust resources based on the current demands based on the current demand so nine option b is the right answer moving to the last question two statements are given first statement is map operation consist of transforming one set of each values pair to the another yes definitely it is true the second post statement is each reducer groups the results of the maps step using the same key definitely it is a correct question so both statements are two option is the right answer okay see i am going to use explanation part the map operation indeed transform one set key values pair to the another second is each reducer then process the data group by the same key in the reduce phases so both the statements are true okay guys for one second we will check the answer of this question option question number 1 option a is the right answer question number b or question number 2 option b is the right answer question number 3 option b question number 4 option a question number 5 i choose to especially a and c okay and question number 6 is the d is the right answer option d question number 7 a and b question number 8 C is the right answer. Question number nine, B is the right answer, and question number ten, A is the right answer. Now I am going to submit the answer button. Okay, and now what message comes? A message will appear that your answer are successfully submitted. Okay, here see guys, uh, your last record submitted was in this desk. Thank you for taking the week five assignment five. Okay, guys, we solve the questions one by one. I hope you like or enjoy this video. If you like, uh, definitely you must subscribe my channel. and share this channels with your friends or colleagues and very soon we will try to solve the week 6 assignment 6 um, cloud computing and uh, till then i hope you must take care of yourself and uh, prepare for your generation to do the well um, see you take care and bye